analysts can only analyze but not predict predictions get go wrong but when scientists team up and decide to do something incredible then they become unstoppable today we are going to talk about 10 such scientific biotech experiments which changed the course of history today we will be discussing biotech not just biotech today we will celebrate those scientists in this video we are going to discuss top 10 biotech discoveries which probably the analysts would not have ever predicted because they would have just looked at history but today if those 10 innovations had not happened probably healthcare would not have been the way it is today so what were those innovations let's find out year was 1953 and we are talking about an era where even the computers were in their infancy but two gentlemen along with rosalind franklin went ahead and created it they found out the double helix of dna james watson francis crick using x-ray and diffraction data from rosalind franklin provided the foundational knowledge and understanding of the genetic inheritance and paved the way of modern x without the understanding of dna today many fields would just not even exist correct it's like if the internet was not there do you think all these uber ola and all these app companies would have existed no right the same way francis crick and james watson created it and thanks to a woman rosalind came up with this data this x-ray diffraction data on which this was analyzed change the history and forever now whether it is forensic science whether it is antibiotic research anything We are always talking about DNA, right? Come on. And the next one, the year was 1983, and we are talking about polymerase chain reaction. Carey Mullis invented the PCR, a method for amplifying DNA sequences rapidly in expensively. Now let me tell you a short story about 2020. Fast forward to 2020, we got the COVID pandemic. Should PCR would not have existed if PCR had not. So what Carey Mullis did in 1983 paved the way to save humanity in 2020. Isn't that great? No analyst would have predicted a COVID-19, and no analyst would have ever thought about Carey Mullis discovering the polymerase reaction changed the way history is written. That's the power of us. And I want you to become a scientist. That's why I'm telling you these stories, right? So what really happened? This revolutionary discovery. led to enabling everything from genetic fingerprinting to the real time monitoring of viral infections and that's where qpcr comes into it right so polymerase chain reaction 1983 carry virus now for the back all the diabetics will thank the scientist we found out in 1978 the insulin production via genetic engineering yes The first successful production of human insulin in genetically modified bacteria by Genentech marked a monumental shift to biotechnology instead of depending on other sources for it. They imagined large-scale production of safe and effective insulin through bacteria, through genetic engineering, and no side effects. Right. So, insulin production using genetic engineering in 1978. was another big achievement by genentech which changed the course of history right and thanks to that today the lifestyle disease diabetes it is predicted that every 3 people out of 10 in india are going to have diabetes by the time they cross 40s thanks to the lifestyle and the stress but insulin via genetic engineering helped us well we have more story about insulin we'll be seeing that later but right now Let's jump on to something very recent, right? I'm sure you've heard of this. That is the year 2012. We're talking about CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing and the gene therapy which followed. This technology pioneered by Jennifer Dodd and Emmanuel Charpentier allows the precise cut of the DNA, right? So if Crick had not found what Dodd now would have done it, right? If Crick had not created history, Doudna would have been a history. Correct. But Doudna created history. Emmanuel Charpentier created history. They found out a way to precisely cut the DNA, opening doors to potential cures for genetic disorders and advancement in agricultural biotechnology. Today, we can think of pest-resistant, climate-change-resistant crops. Thanks to CRISPR, thanks to Jennifer, thanks to Emmanuel. Right? So that's where the CRISPR-Cas9 
2012 revolution changed the course of history. It changed the way humanity perceived biotechnology. Today, the biotech industry is slated to become a $10 trillion industry. Thanks to these discoveries, which I'm telling. The next one which we have for you is the first cloned animal. Donny the sheep. Year was 1996. Donny actually changed my life too. Well, why do I say that? Because when Donny the sheep was first cloned and the first mammal to be cloned from an adult somatic cell using nuclear transfer. I remember I had wrote an article in 2006 on Biotech Vika, the modern Dolly the Ship, 10 years after this has happened. And that article became so popular that we, so many visitors on Biotech Nika, the server also crashed. So thanks to Doug. Well, Dolly has many achievements at her disposal, but yes, first mammal out of a somatic cell using the process of nuclear transfer. Now, this led to a huge debate. I remember people were like, you are playing God, how can you do this? Ethical complication and uh, droning was banned in various countries. But imagine its potential today. Dolly changed the world for good. So, 1996. Dolly, the first cloned ship, changed the course of history for humanity. A ship changed human history. Now, the seventh one which I have for you, the year was 1975. George Scholar and Caesar Milstein, they developed a method to create monoclonal antibodies. Highly specific antibodies that has now become indispensable part of the diagnostics industry. Right? Monoclonal antibodies therapy, you know that. So now this is used in cancer, in autoimmune diseases and various other diseases, right? So the development of monoclonal antibodies in 1975 by George Scholar and Caesar Milstein was a game changer in the diagnostic. That's true. So, eighth word for you is RNA interference. Year was 1998, and Andrew Fire and Craig Mello discovered RNA interference, a natural process that cells use to turn down or silence the activity of specific genes. Now, this discovery has significant therapeutic potential and it has led to new types of medicine. So, RNA interference was another game changer which was done in 1998. Now comes the next one. Probably this was a work of over any case, so I cannot say a particular year, but in the 1940s and 50s, we saw the development and evolution of bioreactors, right? So the development of bioreactors today is like, okay, without a bioreactor, you cannot do many things in the industry today, right? So bioreactors allow the controlled growth of organisms under specific condition, and it has been crucial for producing biopharmaceuticals, fermenting beer, and treating wastewater. And all of that, thanks to bioreactors. Right. So, bioreactor is a game changer again. In fact, if bioreactor would not have existed, probably Biocon or various other biopharmaceutical companies would not have existed, right? Imagine what impact a small experiment you do in your lab can have in, on the future companies. They might not even exist because you decided not to do research because you decided to leave the biotech field and go somewhere, right? Now, the 10th one is, again, we're going to do diabetes. Year was 1982, synthetic insulin was discovered. Eli Lilly, our biggest biopharmaceutical company, produced the first commercially available synthetic human insulin hewlett, derived from recombinant DNA. This was much more effective and less likely to cause allergic reactions than the originally produced insulin through animal pancreas. So that is where synthetic insulin became a gate. So I told you around 10 story in this video, I know yeah, you might have got excited by now. Now, I wanted to tell you one very important factor before I end this video is, see, like I said, analysts could never predict. They can just analyze history. I also just analyze history into your 10 incidents. But imagine if you don't decide, if you don't decide to do your research today, what impact it will have in the future. You are going to be the game changer. You are going to do the research which will change the course of humanity. Probably in bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, coding in biology. Well, that's the future. Quantum biology. So utilize your today's resources. Well, understand that even the best of the scientists always struggle. Struggle is a part of research. Failure is a part of research. But giving up is not a part of research. It's a human behavior. Don't become a victim of human behavior. If you become a victim of human behavior, you cannot change history. I made this video on Teacher's Day. Probably you're watching it some other day. But I want to tell you that that's my goal as a teacher. To spark that curiosity inside you. So that we keep moving forward. Because each time you move forward, I win.
Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Keep shining. Shabbat.